Hey you guys, thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new here, my name is Cambria, but you can call me Cammy. And as always, if you are returning, thank you so, so much. I super duper appreciate you. And I wanted to tell you guys, I really, really appreciate um, all 318 of you that stuck around. I just find it really amazing that I still have 318 subscribers. And I wanna let you know, I really, really appreciate it. Um, I wanted to make today's video, obviously, as you could tell, we're going to do like a little sit down, chit chat, makeup type thing. I got a lot of stuff on my mind I want to talk to you guys about. I want to talk to you guys about where I've been, um, what I've been thinking about, stuff like that. So, but yeah, I just want to preface this by saying thank you so much. I just think it's, yeah, like I said, so awesome that so many people... Um, have stuck around. I guess let's get into it you guys. So I think I'll have to link these down below but these I've been using instead of a headband to uh, clip my hair back and I think I might have mentioned this in other videos before but I have really fine hair. You can probably tell. Um, and it uh, gets um, Mm, it gets dented really easily but I like these clips because they actually don't uh, dent my hair so they allow me to push my hair back. What is this, Cammy? They, um, <laughs> let me redo. Ay, ay, ay. Bad example, but they do push my hair back really nice. And there we go. They allow me to, uh, yeah, do it without crinkling my hair up, which is nice. So yeah, like I said, I'll have to link those down below. Of course, they're from Amazon. Where else would they be from? Come on now. Who am I? Okay, you guys. So I honestly am not exactly a hundred percent sure um, what I'm going to be talking about. I've been going through like a lot of different emotional things, a lot of just really big changes in my life in the past year, like all like really exciting changes, but it's been just so emotionally overwhelming, you know? Um, and so I don't know, yeah, exactly what I'm going to be talking about, but I guess just whatever kind of naturally comes to mind. I know a lot of you guys are probably going through similar things and I don't know, I'm really sensitive to change. Um, are any of you guys like that? I don't know. I, I discovered a few years ago that I'm a HSP, a highly sensitive person. People on the internet were like, you know, talking about it in forums and making videos about being HSPs, um, very sensitive people. And I immediately like connected with that and it, my life just suddenly made so much sense. And it was just nice to know that there's other people that are like me. So um, but I wonder if you guys would want videos on my experience with that. But anyways, okay, let me actually do my makeup. Um, I've been using this. This is also from Amazon, of course. Um, this is the Julep Beauty um, Cushion Complexion Concealer. Actually, it says a concealer corrector foundation in one, so maybe that's why I like it. Um, I have it in the shade 100 Alabaster. I'll be linking all the products that I'm going to be using below, just so you know, in case I am talking too much and I don't um, mention what I'm doing. But this is pretty much like, I think I'm just going to be using the camera as a mirror, but I also have little compacts I might use too. But I think it's better. That way we're all up close. You can kind of like see what I'm doing. Um, but this is really moisturizing, which I like. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to be putting it under my eyes and then around my nose. I think you can actually see on camera, which I'm glad. I have redness around my nose. So I think... Um, I'm just dabbing it. I really like this little cushion thing. This is like the Maybelline. Um, Maybelline, is it? You know, with the little sponge that everyone likes. Um, I think I did like that concealer. But yeah, I really like this one. I like a kind of um, moisturizing concealer that doesn't look cakey. Um, even though I have kind of normal to oily skin, I don't like drying super matte things. I guess I like to kind of embrace the glowy, shiny look. But anyways, I think, like I said, there's a lot of different things that I want to talk about, but I think I mainly want to talk about like the reasons why I've been gone from YouTube for four months. And, um, you know, I don't know. It makes me really sad that I left for four months, but obviously that was you know, my choice, but I want to talk about the reasons why. I guess the first thing I was 
mentioning was my overwhelm. Um, just being somebody that's very sensitive to change. Oh gosh, I mean, going in with my physician's formula powder. Again, I'll link everything below, but I love this powder. I have hit pan. I've been using this for years. I'm just going to go in all over. This is my favorite powder foundation. I used it in like all my other videos. But anyways, um, but I don't know. I was, I was very spoiled actually all my life. And I, I think to some extent I knew it, but I lived with my parents. My parents really didn't want me to leave. <laughs> I lived with my parents, um, for, uh, yeah, 28 years. <laughs> I actually had never moved out at, uh, 28, almost 29 years old. I moved out for the first time and was engaged to my now husband. And that's so exciting, you know, but that's a lot, you guys, like all this, you know, moving out, getting situated, um, you know, just getting adjusted to living together for the first time and also like planning, not a big wedding because we did a low key thing. Thank God. Um, we got married in Vegas, which was beautiful and amazing. Um, and we didn't even have a reception or anything after. So that, that helped like not having to worry about a big wedding or a big party thing. Um, but still, it's still getting married, you know, it's still a big deal. Taking on so many new responsibilities as a wife, all the, you know, not complaining about it, because I actually, I love cleaning and stuff, but you know, I gotta keep house. We live in this little house that we're renting, um, and still trying to work, because I, I, I have to make a little bit of money somehow so I can help my husband, you know, pay the bills. And then also, um, s becoming a stepmom too, like taking on stepmom responsibilities too. Um, my husband's daughter is a really good kid. Shout out to Jazzy, <laughs> but <laughs> cause I think she's watching, but still like, it's all good changes, happy changes, but it's a lot, you guys. I mean, I don't think I have to explain this to you. Of course it is. So I think I just got really, really thoroughly overwhelmed. Um, <laughs> I wonder why, right? Yeah. I love this powder because it looks so smooth and over the concealer, it's just, it's a really good combination. It's like matte, but not too matte. Anyways, and then I decided on top of that, because <laughs> shouldn't I just be able to be like the do-it-all Wonder Woman lady, right? I decided to, for the first time in my life, put myself out there and um, start a YouTube channel, which I'm so happy I did. I can't stop saying this. I'm so excited to be back. Um, I don't want to quit, you guys, even though I contemplated because I just got so overwhelmed. I was like, I can't do this. Who am I? Like, I'm the shy girl. I'm the girl that hides. I'm insecure. I can't do this. Like, that's how I felt. It was just too much. Too much, too fast, too soon. Just, you know, I mean, you kind of understand. But I don't want to quit, you guys. I swear, I was watching my videos. And I was like, you know, I'm good at this. I really am. For a shy person who, like, normally barely talks, I mean, clearly I want to talk, you know? Um, oh, yeah, what was I going to do next? I guess blush. My blush that... I have been using Blossom Time Rose Milani Blush. Um, anyways, what was I saying? <laughs> I don't know. I'm overwhelmed talking about my overwhelm. I guess I wanted to talk about how I really went my whole life pretty much. Um, like back in middle school, I got made fun of a lot. I was just kind of like a tall, awkward, really, really skinny kid, you know, not surprisingly, I guess. Um, and I would get made fun of for my ears and my nose and um, for having like scoliosis and 
um, stuff like that. And I don't know, I was a late bloomer, so it was just, I was awkward. And then middle, uh, no, high school, I think I started to like blossom a bit, but I don't know, I just never came out of my shell um, at all, actually. If anything, I retreated further into my shell. In fact, I totally did, like completely. Um, I was a very like, I know it's probably hard to imagine me this way because it's even hard for me to remember um, me being this way, but I was, uh, I was kind of an emo kid. Like I wore a lot of eyeliner. I would um, have my mom help me. I would dye my hair black. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. I'm like, oh my God, I don't think that's my color. I have very like nice, soft kind of features. I feel like I, I don't think, you know. Um, but yeah, I went through like a emo phase uh, and I didn't do, I literally didn't do any extracurricular activities. Like there was a lot of things that I definitely wanted to do, but I never did them. And it's very true what they say, putting on elf eyelid primer, my favorite, you guys. Always gotta wear this. I have oily eyelids, it keeps it from creasing. But yes, it's true what they say about how in the end it's all the things that you didn't do that you regret when you get older. It's not the embarrassing things you did or the mistakes you made or, or the failures. It's, it's the things that you never tried to do. That is like true failure and like causes true regret. But I don't want to live with regret. It just, it is kind of sad looking back at it that, you know, I didn't like join the acting club when I wanted to because I always liked acting and like making people laugh or like I should have tried out for choir um but I didn't because I thought I was a bad singer which is sad because I'm actually a very good singer um again I don't want to live with regret I don't want to live in the past you guys it's just when I look back at it I'm all oh darn it Cammy. there's so many things you could have done I could have been happy and bubbly like how I am now and been like a cheerleader, like my husband was saying, you know, I'm really lightweight, like I would have been a good flyer, you know, <laughs> go team, yay. Um, <laughs> but again, I don't want to live in the past, I want to keep moving forward. And I think YouTube is my chance to like actually put myself out there and do something. You know, you guys saw like my silly skits that I was doing, like I want to do more of those, I'm going to do more of those, I'm committed to doing more of those. <laughs> to be very firm with myself. You can do this, Cabby. You are going to do this. Because, of course, like, who else is going to do it? Like, I'm the one that has to do it. Like, if I want to do these things, if I want to stop hiding and being sad, then I just have to do it. Like, I know it's harder. It's easier said than done, of course. But, you know, like, so YouTube is, like, my, I don't know. It's my thing. Like, I think it's my thing that I'm doing to like finally put myself out there, you know, and, and kind of share my personality and share my, my, I, I guess, talents, dare I say talents, um, with the world. I could share them with the whole world because everyone's on the internet, you know, but it's scary. It's scary as an insecure person. Anyways, I'm just going in with my Naked 2 Basics palette. This is a really good one. I mean, it's one that's great for every day. Um, I even wore this on my wedding day. So just a really good, like, kind of cool tone, taupey, neutrals palette. Um, I think I'm just going to be going in with Skimp on the end, just like all over my lid and brow bone. We're not doing anything crazy. I just wanted to, uh, do my makeup and show you guys um, a couple new things that I'm trying out. And mostly I just wanted to talk, to be honest. And I don't know why. I guess I need something to do while I talk because it, it helps me, I guess, focus. I don't know. Like, so, I don't know. Um, anyways, what else was I trying to tell you guys? Yeah, I guess basically that. I was also watching a video recently, this girl that I watch on YouTube, one of my favorite YouTubers. She came out with a video and she was talking about how in advertising, um, in advertising and also when it comes to like influencers and stuff, it was like a video of like how to be 
like a fashion YouTuber or like influencer kind of a thing, which is basically what I want to do, but also other things. But anyways, um, but she was saying she used the term purple cow and I loved this and it, it stuck in my brain. So I like that. I like cows. So maybe that's why basically what it is, is that it's, you have to do something different. If you're putting yourself out there and you want to get noticed, you want to get attention, you want to get views, which of course I do. I want people watching. You have to not be afraid to like think outside the box and not be afraid to do something different. And when she said that, I was like, oh, I have so many purple cows like floating around my brain. Like I have so many silly ideas for YouTube shorts. Stay tuned, you guys. They're going to be really funny, I think, personally. My husband thinks they're going to be funny, so I don't know if that's, you know, I think he has a good sense of humor. But yeah, I think you guys are really going to like them. <laughs> and I think I'm just going to have a lot of fun filming them. I have a lot of good video ideas. Some of them are kind of basic and like normal, but like still cute. <laughs> and then some are a little more out there. But yeah, I have purple cows like floating around my brain, but I'm always like, because of my social anxiety, my insecurities, you know, all the fears that come creeping in, like I'm always afraid of like offending people or annoying people. I'm afraid of being seen as weird. Uh, I'm just going to go in with Frisk, by the way, you guys, as a boop boop. So stay tuned for my purple cows because I have a very silly brain. I'll literally be like laying in bed at night <laughs> my husband, I don't know, he probably like hears me. I'll be like, <laughs> he's probably like, what the, but I come up with ideas late at night, you know, I'll just be laying in bed. I'm like, oh, that's so silly. That would be funny. I, that probably happens to a lot of people, right? Because at the end of the day, you know, we're finally kind of, I don't know, relaxing, less distractions and, uh. Yeah, so a lot of the ideas come to us, right? Either that or like in the shower or sometimes early in the morning when I'm having my coffee, the ideas start flowing. It's also a really good idea to write them down too, I find, so that I don't forget them. In fact, I need to do that because like I said, too many purple cows are floating through my brain. Anyways, so yeah, pretty much. Um, and then I'm just kind of, Lining under my eyes a little bit. Honestly, I'm not really that good at makeup, you guys, and I don't wear it a lot, but I do wear it sometimes. And um, I just find, you know, speaking of like how I used to do my makeup back in high school um, with the like crazy, I would wear like black eyeliner. I look back at that and I'm all, oh, I mean, I know I was just trying to find myself, so it's okay. We're all gonna you know, make mistakes and stuff. Um, but I, yeah, I don't think super dark eyeliner, super dark makeup suits me. I think a more natural kind of makeup looks best on me anyways. So, but that's convenient because that means I don't have to try that hard. <laughs> but anyways, let's see what else are we going to do here? Oh, mascara. You guys, this is the very controversial, do you remember? It was a little while back, but this is the super controversial mascara. Honestly, it is good. I wouldn't say that I would repurchase it, though. Um, let me just curl my eyelashes. It, it's okay. I don't know. It's like a good mascara. I think what bothers me about it is that I feel like it's like a little bit complicated, which is probably very stupid. And I think it's kind of a me thing, but and let me use my mirror to curl my eyelashes. I always have to curl your eyelashes. My eyelashes are a little naturally curly, but I want them more curly. Um, but yeah, I think it's a me problem with the mascara. Basically, the idea of it is I think that you're supposed to like turn it on one side and then do your lashes and then you're supposed to like turn it to the side and like clear the clumps out I guess but I just find that too many steps I don't know it's uh yeah I, I think it's a me thing I don't know let me know if you guys feel the same way but I like to just like clear the excess off and then just do it like on its side and just do like a natural um lash look Oh, but anyways, if you don't know about the controversy 
con controversy. If you don't know about the controversy with this mascara, it was basically that uh, this one girl um, wore, it was on TikTok, I believe. She wore fake eyelashes in her um, like sponsored video for this mascara. Um, which was not, uh, what is this, L'Oreal's fault. <laughs> um, but yeah, supposedly she had fake eyelashes on and didn't tell people. So I don't know, I think it's okay. I don't really know that I'd repurchase it because I feel like there's other mascaras that I like a little bit better and they don't have the two-step complications. Also, when I turn it on its side, I keep on accidentally poking my eye. But then also that might be my fault because I'm not supposed to turn it on its side and I might be doing it wrong. I don't know. It's con see, it's like too much for my brain. Like I can't even explain it. Is it, it it's it's a me problem. Just know that it's a me problem. It is a good mascara, so you could try it. I don't know. <laughs> if that makes any sense at all, which probably it doesn't. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna just go in with this e.l.f. Wow Brow. I have it in deep brown. Yes, deep brown. And I just like to put, if I do my brows at all, I like to just put a little bit of brow gel in them, tinted brow gel. And I like this one. I think it's good. Very little bit. I think it just helps them to keep their shape. And yeah, I think my my eyebrows are okay the way they are. I'm not really obsessed with them. I used to over pluck them when I was younger and I'm just uh, grateful. I'm just grateful that they actually grew back. <laughs> and my eyebrows were the victims of the early 2000s. So um, yeah, thank goodness. I know a lot of girls plucked their eyebrows pencil thin for too long and they did not grow back. May they rest in peace. Eyebrows. Yeah. Luckily there's like microblading and stuff, but mine are okay, I think. They survived. <laughs> and then also I just wanted to go in with this really pretty lipstick. This is really not interesting as far as makeup, you guys. It's a very boring makeup look. Mostly just kind of wanted to do it for the sake of doing it so that I could talk. I don't know. It helps me talk. So, but this is Revlon. I love their lipsticks. This is Rose and Shine. So this one has, it's so pretty. It's like the perfect natural for me color. Um, summery. I'm still hanging on to summer, you guys. I mean, I'm ready for it to be fall. But you gotta enjoy every season. Um, but I like this actually, which kind of surprised me, but I like the glow that it gives. Am I sweating? Oh my. I love anything that's like a rose color on me. Yeah, this gives a really nice glow though to the lips. Um, but I think as you can see, But I think as you can see, it matches with my lip color really nice, but it has like a, a sheen to it. So this is their, oh, Super Lustrous. That's what it is. Super Lustrous lipstick versus, um, oh, the cream. Oh, okay. This is a pearl finish versus some of their other ones are like matte finishes, which I don't like. I like the cream or the pearl finishes. So I think, was that everything I wanted to do? Yeah, I guess so. So that's my my makeup. Take these guys out. Okay, you guys. So I think I said everything that I wanted to say. Um, if I think of anything else, of course, I could always talk about it in a future video. But I think I basically hit all the points that I was trying to say. Um, thank you so much for sitting with me through this hopefully not too boring uh, video. And thank you for listening to me. And hopefully you uh, made some sort of sense of it. Hopefully uh, it resonated with you in some sort of way. And uh, yeah, thanks again, you guys. And I will see you very soon in my next video.